Dr. Moy is far above the average surgeon. It's interesting, in the years that I've worked in surgery, there are physicians that can be very good as far as um, the clinical aspect. They can spout off statistics and techniques and experiences they, that they've had, but then it, it's a whole different animal to translate that into the hand-eye coordination in the movements. And Dr. Moy, is very, he has very good surgical hands. He's very steady. He's very precise. He has a good eye. He's very accurate. And above all, he's extremely consistent. And I think that's why his patients overwhelmingly have such an incredible good result. And it's because he is consistent. He's methodical. What can I say? He's, he's overall just an excellent surgeon. Well, I had surgery on a Tuesday morning. It was the first surgery of the day. Um, came in at 8 o'clock, had my surgery at 9. By 11.30, I was on my way home. My name is Jackie Maple. I have a Bachelor's of Science degree in nursing, and I have over 15 years of clinical experience in the perioperative setting. I've seen many different podiatrists and their techniques and the manners in which, the different manners in which bunionectomies can be done. Uh, my bunion, because do I've heard Dr. Moy tell this to patients, it's not the size of the bunion, it's the shape of the formation um, that causes the pain. And it, depending upon, because I am an operating room nurse, I do spend the large majority of my working time on my feet. Um, it, by the end of the day, they would be killing me. And it got, had gotten to the point where I couldn't wear types, certain types of shoes. And it was a, impacting my lifestyle. When I was going to the gym, even in tennis shoes, there was pressure on that uh, particular area of my foot. And it, it impacts all aspects of your life. I mean, there would be times occasionally where I would be in bed sleeping and I would get a sharp pain in, in my foot. I got to the point where I was wearing orthotics and wearing wider shoes and not wearing the dainty strappy <laughs> sandals and high-heeled shoes where I was putting all the pressure on the ball of my foot because it was excruciating. And I mean, it did get to the point where I, at the gym, you know, I would do different types of cardio where it didn't involve, you know, the treadmill or the Stairmaster because it was hurting so much. So it was affecting all aspects of my life from leisure to work to, like I said, occasionally that I would wake up with a sharp shooting pain in my foot. It's funny because when I filled out the patient questionnaire and I was asked how long have I had bunions, I couldn't even place it. I mean, I think most of my adult life, but if I had to point to the point where I, to the time when I actually first started feeling pain, it's probably been 10 years and, and progressively with, you know, just an occasional pain. It's gotten to the point where, you know, every day I was experiencing pain, but approximately 10 years. As a surgical nurse, I'm not afraid to have surgery because I am very particular when I make decisions about who I'm going to see as a patient and who I'm going to receive treatment from as far as my family and friends as well. Because in the last two and a half years and having seen firsthand the patient's outcome and just the fantastic results that they've received, I decided myself to have surgery with Dr. Moy, and I wasn't skeptical about the procedure, just uh, I think I had a mild level of apprehension because I know what's involved during the surgical um, procedure. As a nurse, I know that the bone is cut and things are realigned, and common sense from a medical stance will tell you whenever you're invading a body part, <laughs> there's got to be some pain involved. So I think I was apprehensive about having surgery because I thought there's got to be some pain involved. I know these patients all have great results and I wasn't skeptical, but maybe just a little bit of a doubting Thomas. He walked me through what I could anticipate the day of surgery, checking in, what that would entail. Uh, he talked to me about the type of sedation, what I would experience, and then postoperatively, how in the following weeks types of activities and limitations and restrictions which are basically none I mean you're walking so he did go through step by step and answer any questions that I might have I when I woke up in the recovery room I was amazed at how I had all my faculties I knew that it wasn't a general anesthetic and I and I knew from being a surgical nurse that the patients didn't have that groggy drowsy feeling but I wasn't sure firsthand how I would feel and I was 
very awake, very alert, conversing with the nurses, making jokes, um, didn't have an upset stomach at all, felt no nausea. They gave me some apple juice to drink and some crackers and my stomach felt fine, didn't have a headache. And I felt I didn't have that. I thought I might have like a hangover kind of feeling. Didn't experience that at all. They took me out to my car. They was driven home and I got out and walked up the stairs and the rest of the day I wasn't groggy at all. I didn't even take another nap. I didn't go back to sleep until that night. By the end of the week, I myself had surgery on a Tuesday, and I took uh, Wednesday and Thursday off because the first two days, you, you only want to be on your feet 10, 15 minutes, an hour max. So I took it easy, but by Friday, today, I'm back at work. I would say if you're not sure that Dr. Moy is any different than any other podiatrist, I would recommend getting, if you've already seen Dr. Moy, a second opinion with another podiatrist. See the way in which he interacts with them, the information that he presents. Um, ask if you can talk to some of his patients that have had surgery already and see if he has before and after pictures, like Dr. Moy has an album full. And um, just talk, talk to people. Because I think that that speaks volumes, just hearing patients' personal accounts. And for me, that would be the deciding factor. If you can compare and contrast what it is that Dr. Moy does in his consultations and how what his patients' outcomes are and compare that to someone else.